Hey guys, it's Tech Check, and today we're going to examine the future of the iPod. So, back in 2001, when Apple released the iPod, most people had basic phones that could send maybe a few characters of text and call someone. That's about it. That's why pagers were so popular, because they could allow you to do a lot more than you could already do on your phone. And an iPod fit perfectly into that, because it let you play music, as well as having your pager and your cell phone. So you had three devices to carry around. Now though, things are a little bit different. Most of the people in the US have a smartphone of some sort. STATISTICS! So, why would you even need an iPod? Because almost every single smartphone, and other phones that aren't even smart, have a music player already built in. And since most of them are touchscreen, it's much easier to use and access your music. But what about the iPod Touch? Well, its main competitor, surprisingly, is actually the iPhone. Because, if you think about it, an iPod Touch costs $200. An iPhone 6 costs $200, with a data plan. But, if you're getting an iPod, chances are you're also going to have a smartphone, or a regular phone on top of that, so you're going to be paying monthly either way. So why not just pay maybe $10 extra a month, and bundle it all into one, then buy two different devices. So we can actually look at some statistical charts, fun, and we can see that the iPod has been steadily decreasing since about the iPhone 4. While this chart may look discouraging, let's not forget what this little number is right here. That's still a lot of sales. So the iPod isn't a failure, it's just not very popular because it's not as necessary. There is still a reason why you would buy an iPod, because especially with an iPod Touch, you can get access to the App Store, which is an amazing tool. So it might make sense to get an iPod Touch to get access to those millions of applications that you can download with the press of a button. Basically the only reason to get an iPod Touch would be if you're not willing to spend money on a data plan, but you still want access to the App Store without some other MP3 player like a Zoom. As if anyone would ever want a Zoom. In summation, I don't think the iPod is going to go away. I mean, its sales are still decent. The iPod Touch 5th generation has just been hugely upgraded from its very old and sad hardware to the much newer A8 chip, though it is clocked a little lower than the iPhone 6, it is a very good processor. So it's still a viable computing device. And without the costs of a data plan, it's very possible that someone with a less expensive phone would get it to have access to that Apple ecosystem of applications. It's also possible that a younger person that doesn't have a smartphone although there are fewer and fewer and fewer of those people, might want a device that they can play games on, that they can carry around with them. That's pretty much it for today's video. I'll see you guys next week.